Alternative medicine, like acupuncture, has helped patients manage pain for years. Now a new white paper suggests that more non-drug treatments for pain should be included in patient care. And so we had and made an attempt to pull together some key features of the evidence and put it out there in a way that's very easily understood and easily incorporated by hospitals, by clinics, by other organizations that are interested in changing. Other non-drug strategies recommended include massage therapy, tai chi, yoga, and meditative practices like mindfulness, all proven effective in treating certain kinds of acute and chronic pain. And the really interesting part is that with those practices, when you look long term, 12 months after the therapy has stopped, patients still have a benefit to their overall health. That's not something we get with pain relieving drugs. Changing a patient's diet could also be another non-pharmacological strategy for pain management. Some of the best anti-inflammatory sources can be found in our food. It's not a matter of one size fits all. Because our patients are different, they got into their problems for different reasons. While some patients may still need pain medication, offering alternative medicine to patients for pain management could help reduce opioid use in the future. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, this is Megan Clark.